Hello everyone, Argsy here. Welcome back to Chilliwack. We are going down here to pick up the baler. We've got all the straw from the three wheat fields we harvested last time. We're going to get baled up and put into some straw bales. Now that is actually going to force us to start some of the farm development actually because we've got nowhere to store our bales at the moment. So we are going to head back down to the farm at some stage, probably once we've uh, got some loaded there onto the trailer. You can just see next to the baler. And uh, we're going to get our hay barn or straw barn or whatever you want to call it, bale shed. We're going to get that built and be the first part of our development on the farm. So that is the plan for today. If we get all of that done in good enough time, um, I'm also thinking we might try and get some fertilizer spread onto the soybean fields because I imagine, although I'm saying that, soybeans don't actually need much nitrogen, do they? So perhaps we won't need to do that. We'll see how we go. We might go and suss that out. Uh, I'm not going to put nitrogen on soybean fields if they don't need it. But for now, we will head on over and uh, start getting some of the straw baled up. I need to suss out what size bales we're going to make to make sure we get the most efficient and uh, appropriate sized bales for both the trailer and for the barn. Now that trailer, that truck trailer, we do have uh, Loki's Universal Auto Load. So as much as I do like manually loading bales, uh, I think there could be quite a little lot of bale work being done in this series. So we may look at using the Auto Load. I don't know, we'll see. We might just go around and grab the bales and then uh, stack them somewhere, then auto load them off the ground. We'll see what is the best way to do it. But anyhow, let's head on over to the first of the fields we harvested and we're going to go and start with the baling over there. We've made it over here to the first field that we harvested and uh, we're just going to get pulled in. Now, I was just checking on the way over here on bale sizes and if we just have a look in the shop, or in fact in our garage here, this is the baler we own, the Kubota Fast Bale. And uh, you'll see we don't actually have an option on bale sizes, 125 centimetres, whether it's uh, hay and straw or for the wrapped bales. So uh, actually no other options there. But look at all those different things we can do here with the Maze Plus and everything else that's in here. So uh, we're going to have lots of things we can get done. But let's get this unfolded, get it turned on, put the pick up down and get started on picking this straw up. It does mean being smaller bales we're probably going to end up with a whole lot more than I was bargaining four but uh that's just the way it is we will be just fine but uh, i'm enjoying this fast bale i did like using this in farm sim 19 so looking forward to having it here in 22 as well because obviously as we get full like that no need to slow down obviously normal round baler would be pausing just there and uh, having to wait for that but we can just keep going it's very very handy And we do have, I was just wondering if we had the automatic drop on and it appears we do, which was a little bit unfortunate with the timing there because uh, it was right as we wanted to back up to get onto the next wind row. But there we are, that is uh, us underway with baling some straw. So normally we'd sell the straw, but of course with uh, Maze Plus and running animals, we're going to keep hold of it and see if we can use it in bedding or something like that once we get started on the cattle. So let's carry on, we'll get this field baled and uh, see how many we end up in here and head on down to the other ones. And there we go, first field done. Did not take very long at all. And uh, we'll get to the end here and then just do a quick look on how many bales we've ended up with. 3,000 litres in the baler. And of course, if we just pop up our menu here, you will see you've got 15 bales off this field. So that's not a bad little start. 5,000 uh, 5, litres each, I think they are. So uh, 75,000 litres. It's a good start. So we're just going to head on back down. Uh, I was just contemplating whether we might actually get these all rode up, it's a little bit I just missed here, we're going to pick up. But I was just contemplating whether I do disconnect the baler now and uh, actually 
get these all loaded up and put in one spot so it might make it easier to word load in fact i think we might just do that we might just race around very quickly on the field here and do that so we'll get that folded up and uh, we will just disconnect the baler go and see if we can pick these up not sure how heavy they're going to be uh, we've got the, the round bale grab we'll pop on over here and uh, go and grab one of these here we go would be okay without the weight on it's only five thousand Oh, I didn't actually grab that very well, did I? Let's try that again. All right, there we go. It took us about three goes to grab it properly, but uh, we seem to be able to carry that around. So we'll just run over here. Put it down next to the other one. Now, these grabs are probably better suited to doing silage when the bale's been wrapped and tipped on its side rather than these ones which are up this way, but uh, we'll be able to make it work. So we're just going to run around very quickly, grab all these bales and move them over here onto the edge of the field. When we come over here with the uh, truck and trailer, it'll just be a little bit easier to pick them up and uh, get them loaded onto the back of that. There we go, that one was much better grabbed. Just need to make sure I'm nice and square on and uh, have everything in the right spot. So we'll get a little bit of load of work done, and uh, but we also won't grapple, the grapple, with uh, putting them on the back of the truck and getting the trailer loaded. So we'll be able to save a little bit of time there. So let's carry on, get this done as efficiently as fast as we can and we'll see you when we're done. The last couple of bales here, there's one more just over there behind the baler we'll go and grab, but uh, it was nice to be able to pick them up two by two like this. It's uh, made things a lot faster. 50% less trips taken. And we'll just leave these all stacked up nice and, well I would say neatly, but it's not too neat, but right here on the edge of the field and that will make it much easier when we come over with the truck and auto load trailer and we'll just be able to get next to them and pick them straight up. Like I said, just this one last bale here, we will get in and get picked up. And then we'll be off over to the other fields. So we'll uh, catch you when we get over there. Here we are down at the next couple of fields. And uh, we'll just go straight in here. I know this is where we started harvesting. So probably the best place. To get things all loaded up and uh, start... Oh, unfolded, loaded up. Get things all unfolded and start on our baling. So again, we're just going to carry on and get around here and see how many we ended up with. So we had 15 in the last field. Probably 15 and a half if you count the... One that was already in the uh, baler, so we'll keep an eye on. See how many we end up with total. I'm reckoning maybe another 20 off these two fields. Maybe a little bit more. 20 won't be too far off. So we'll see how we go. We'll just carry on and uh, get into it and get it done. So we'll catch up with you again soon.
I don't think we're quite going to have enough to make a last bale out of this. That's alright. It's actually going to go quite close, but look at about 4,000 litres, aren't we? 4,124. There we go. Anyhow, that is what it is. Uh, everything is done. So we'll just get this lifted up, folded up, everything like that. And let's just take a look how many bales we have total. 43, and we had 15 and a half in the first one. So what's that? 28. That's a few more than the... 20 or so that I estimated uh, which is good it's very good so I think we'll do the same as what we did over in the last field we will drop the baler off and we will go and uh, move all these into probably a central position actually I might move some over here or I might do a couple of stacks but at least when we come in with the trailer it's a little bit easier to load and get them into the back of the trailer so we'll just uh, get things over here we'll disconnect and uh, go and get these all moved all right there we go Got the first couple picked up here so I think and we're over here in the middle and then we'll be able to drive the truck into the field and get everything moved. Now this is still the plan is to sell this little bit of farm. Get those uh, few animals moved out of there and we will go and move them down to the other farm where we just were baling the straw. And uh, that can be I guess the home for them for a wee while until we get the main part of the uh, cattle empire set up. And uh, we will then be able to get this sold and have a bit more money for building our new farmyard. So we'll carry on, get these bales all moved out of the way and uh, then we'll be back over here with the truck and ready to get them loaded up and back into our storage barn that we haven't built yet. Alright last two bales into the middle here and we will be all set to bring the trailer over and get them all loaded up. Now I have to actually do a little bit of uh, investigation and figure out how many bales the trailer actually takes because I'm not 100% clear on that. That's fine, we will uh, head on back over, we'll take the baler back over to the farm, we will head on down and grab the semi and go and get the bale trailer and then we'll be back over here and the other field to get those all loaded up before we uh, can put them in our shed. We're just going to pull into the main farm here. We're not going to bother uh, taking this back down to the other one at this stage. We might even leave it here. We'll see. Once we uh, get back and get the uh, new farm constructed, there might be space for it here somewhere. There we go. That'll do. Let's park that up there, and uh, we'll go and jump into the semi now. For those of you who uh, know what I do for a living, being an architect, I am very organised when it comes to my farmyard build. So I've actually, like I did on. Elk Mountain, we have come up with a plan of how we're going to build this. So, already knowing exactly where the shed's going to go and making sure we're not going to put it in a spot that's going to impact the future development and future plans. So, uh, we've already got that all sorted. And we'll build that uh, once we've gone and got some of these bales loaded up. So, we're just going to run down the road and pick up that bale trailer. We'll head on over to one of the fields and uh, probably actually the second field that we were just in. That's got the most bales, so we'll go and see if we can fill up out of there. Uh, and we can get back over here and we'll worry about the shed then. Here we are, we've got the trailer hooked up. Let's head on over to the field and go and get those bales all picked up. Hoping this is going to work. I haven't actually tested the auto loadout, so it could be a little bit of a disaster. Uh, but fingers crossed when we get over there, everything will make sense. So, we'll get back over to the field and give it a go. Alright, we've made it over here to the field and I have made a little bit of a a little bit of a mistake or had made a little bit of a mistake this trailer is not supported by the universal auto load by loki which is what i was hoping we were going to be able to use this this is by top ace triple eight and actually has auto load built into it so what we've done we just hop out here and go and have a quick look we can come over here next to our trailer press m and bring up our mobile vehicle workshop jump into customize and we had the auto load option there so i've already reconfigured it to take 34 around 125 centimeter bales so we'll give that a go and see how it works now the downside to that is it will only auto load that size bales which is fine for the moment but if we wanted to pick anything else up in the future we'd either have to make that size bale or reconfigure it so i may look at uh, whether we replace this with one of the other flatbed trailers which does use the universal auto load rather than this one but uh, let's jump in here and take a look at getting it loaded just bring up our menu you can see we've got an option there for operating position and easy as that press that and we've gone from operating and loaded to transporting so we'll just press that button and uh, I think we should have everything now strapped down so let's uh, go for a little bit of a drive get on over to the other field and pick up a few more bales and get a full load and then we can go down and see if we can get them unloaded into the 
barn and or build the barn and get them unloaded into the barn so let's go and do that all right over here we'll just press b again and then we have 34 bales so what have we got left there two four five six seven eight nine so uh, it would have been nice to be able to get them all in hindsight we probably could have gone back to the yard because we weren't going to get all of these in one trip anyhow but at least now we do have a full load now b again will put us into transport position we can head on over to the main farm here we are back over at the main yard we're just going to get pulled into the entrance here and we're actually going to head around the back of the barn here on the left and uh, we will get the new hay straw storage barn constructed now i'll pop up in just a second we'll get part there we are now i'm going to pop up our little map or plan that i've come up with for the main farmyard and how we're going to build this so you see there we've got the grey for the main entrance you can see the sheds and things that we already have now over on the left where a lot of our equipment stored down the orange sheds we're going to put our workshop and main storage shed over that side and then on the other side of the entrance it made sense to have some grain silos and also our resupply bins so we'll have some things we can buy fertilizer and lime and things like that out of um, we don't have to run down to the co-op to do it we'll become pretty much uh, self-dependent with those kind of things and then towards the back you can see we've got a couple of uh, stave silos there for our forage and silage uh, that mirrors the one that's already there with the barn then next to that is two bale sheds now i don't know if we'll need two but we'll leave enough space to put two in uh, we'll just build one for today further along from there is silage pits and you'll see the trend there is obviously all of the items we need to be able to make our cattle feed are all there in a line so we should be able to quite easily go along and get what we need to be able to feed the cattle and uh, over the other side of that little uh, track there is the main cattle area you can see we've got sort of a couple of couple of lanes or access ways down between so we get through to feed and clean out and do whatever else we need to do and then right on the end there probably as far away from the house as we could put it and uh, near the neighbor's boundary would be our manure pit so we uh, obviously get some manure cattle out of those cattle pens we'll be able to use that as natural fertilizer onto our fields now in terms of the fields you can see uh, the line there on the right the idea will be to merge the field up, up the top and just have that as one big field and then the bit down the bottom we were going to convert that to a grass field extend it right into the corner and that we can use for making some hay and silage of course we still do have all the fields over the road we own as well and uh, eventually we'll see how we go we could extend the uh, feedlots and that a little bit further into the field if we need to uh, bear in mind that the feedlot we're planning on using makes or holds 2400 animals so i'm not sure if that will be needed so that is the plan there with the map so let's go and get building and we'll get our shed built so in the build menu here i'm just going to scroll all the way across the sheds now we've got a lot of different shed mods installed to give us some options when it comes time to build the rest of the yard up uh, but right near here the end this is it here this is the uh steel object storage shed by gtx now we just need to click on that and there you go we can see our shed now i'm just going to rotate this around now out the front it has a spawn point for the shed and it also has a unload point so you can just make out the yellow and black markers there which are just in front of the truck uh, that is where the bales will spawn when we've got them um, coming out of the shed and to put them into the shed they go in just in front of between well, really between the shed and where that spawn point is so I'm, I'm just going to spin around because what i want to do one, make sure there's enough space at the front, but I also want to try and align it with the back of the shed. So I think, or the back of the existing shed, it's going to be pretty close to the header trailer there, but we'll be right. And obviously leave a little bit of space uh, between the existing barn. Not that we can use it, but uh, just in case, or just to make it look like it is authentic. So I reckon if we put that right about there, it's going to hit the build button, and there we are. That is our shed done. So let's go and have a look at it. So there is the first part of our new build, $14,000 plus a little bit of change uh, and as it says as it shows you there it will store bales which is fantastic so let's go and jump into the truck we'll try and get them unloaded and uh, see what we can do now just in front of here you can come in and there is the trigger to spawn bales once there's some in there so you can see we haven't got any in at the moment but we will go and get some put in so if we drive through where the bales will spawn out at the end now i'm just going to stop there we press y or enter the unload mode and we can use the left button on the mouse key left and right on the mouse and up and down on the mouse to get that put there and right about there is the spawn point or the uh, load point so if we press y again to unload them here we go they'll disappear all but a couple and they'll now all be up in the shed so I have to next time just pull forward just a fraction more to make sure we get them all in there but there you go we can see now we've got 32 of 560 bales 
are all stacked down there nice and neatly and if we can come back again to the front park right about here you can see those in there 160,000 litres so it's good that it does give us uh, capacity on what they are in there and if we wanted to spawn some we can just click on the ones we want to spawn spawn area is blocked so it's telling me there I was wondering why I couldn't click on it but uh, the spawn area is blocked by the semi trailer so we need to uh, move that out of the way but if we wanted to we'd just click on the plus button to see how many we wanted out and uh, then click on the spawn option down there so very very handy right let's get these couple of bales into the uh, trigger here and then we'll head on over and pick the rest up from over in the field all right back over here we'll just get these all loaded up we should be able to press the b button and hopefully get into the transport mode here we go uh load mode there we are so that's loaded press it again we'll go into transport mode and there we are nine more bales i'm going to get these all dropped off into the shed and that will be all the bales collected now one more task we are going to try and get done before the end of this episode is i'm going to go pick up the cattle trailer we're going to head on down to the farm where we got the other wheat from and we are going to sell those animals or move those animals bring them up here to this yard and uh, we will then get that farm sold because uh, i think we're going to need a little bit more money to get this farmyard all built up and developed so that is what we're going to try and get done once we're finished with this so see you back over at the farm and getting these ones here into the shed there we are that's all loaded up now i think once again we're just going to leave our equipment over at this farm we're not going to take it back down to the other one i think it's going to be a better idea to consolidate as much as we can down here so i think we might just drop that off there beside the barn now we're going to head on down to the farm down the bottom uh, over there a little over in that direction we were looking and go and find the cattle trailer head on down to get those animals moved so we picked up the trailer and we're just arriving down here at the farm now typically this trailer takes 48 cattle and uh, we've got 50 so we're gonna have to do it in a couple of trips we'll come around the back here because the trigger for the cattle pen uh, or pasture is around here just in front of this door so we'll get backed up into it and uh, see about getting some animals loaded up uh, it doesn't matter whether we do 48 and 2 or 25 and 25 it's going to take two trips so we'll just get backed up in here hopefully somewhere around about here is a trigger we'll see if we can find that and uh, get these animals loaded all right we had to move over just a touch from where we were so jump in here we'll pick this up we'll fill out the trailer because it's just easier to do that move those to the trailer yes we do want to move those and now we should see we've got 48 sitting up there in the trailer so We'll head on over and get these moved into the an other animal pen. So here we are down at the other farm, the new home for these animals, or at least the new temporary home for them. Not sure whether this will be a long term or not. Now I've been thinking about this field too. I think we might uh, plow this one up and potentially plant some grass in there and make the most of uh, having that for making some hay or something like that in the future. Uh, we've obviously got that bit, bit over there which we can extend it into and uh, have a slightly bigger field we are just going to have to find the trigger i'll probably move to move over just a little bit because i imagine it's in the same place as the other barn just to the edge of the concrete apron backed up in here and see if we can uh, find that trigger be right about there there we go perfect all right jump into here we'll select all 38 48 animals move it to the husbandry there we go we should now see 48 animals sitting out there well, we won't see all 48 of them but there we go that is all those animals moved uh obviously like i've said we still need to work on some food uh, we haven't fed any of them uh, and the other thing i do realize we're missing from our equipment list is a water trailer or tanker or something like that where we can pump some water and bring that down to the animals uh, i'd love to see for 22 a water pump mod like we had for them seasons in farming simulator 19 that was just a blessing to be able to put that down next to the water trigger and always have water in your animal pens let's go and grab those last two animals and then we'll be able to see about getting things sold down there we've obviously got the john deere and the feed mixer which we need to move we'll bring that down to one of the other farms probably down to this one just for now and uh that will be us done and here we are back down with the last two animals we'll just get them moved into the pasture and we'll be all done and there we go trucks empty and uh, 50 animals down here now which is great so we can now get that other farmyard sold full disclosure because it's got those placeables on it which is how the pastures are done and i think probably the silage pits i actually need to sell those to be able to sell that bit of farmland uh, but what i might do is i might use easy dev to transfer ownership out of my name and just take the value of it so in fact we drive out there let's go and have a look at the map so down here you can see plot 157 value of 164,797 so we will just take that value we won't worry about the value of the placeables 
So if we just jump into Easy Dev, we'll take care of that. So our bank account is now looking a whole lot healthier, four hundred. $34,000 and if we just look here on the map you can see we now long now are no longer the owners of uh, farmland 157 so that's gone it's not ours anymore but it does still have the placeable on there uh, for those interested in how I've done that F10 easy dev easy dev uh, go into farmland here and change NPC or my farm obviously if I wanted it to be mine I'll tick that if, make it NPCs or non playing characters change it to whatever number and uh, it was able to be ticked so we've transferred that back out of ours so for role playing or anything like that if you're ever interested in doing that without having to sell everything on the piece of land you can do it that way so i think with that said and done that is a perfect spot to wrap up work here again on chili wax so we've managed to get all our straw picked up we've built our straw barn moved animals down here to this farm and we've got our farmland sold and we've got four hundred and thirty thousand dollars in the account to pay for the next uh next development of the farm so we'll wait and see i'm not sure i think that might have to be our next uh our next episode is building the farmyard because we do have that corn down at the bottom fields that need to be uh needs to be harvested and put into some silage we're going to chop that all up and make that into silage so we need some silos or some bunkers or something to put that in we do have that bunker down at the bottom farmyard but uh, i think we might be better because of where we're heading to bring everything up to the main farm so next time i imagine we might be building a farm so stick with us i hope you've enjoyed this episode uh, as always thank you all very much for watching and i look forward to catching you in the next one